that the UN wants to send Moroccan peacekeepers to South Sudan and, and they're pushing back. And their reason, one of the reasons for pushing back is that Morocco is not a member of the African Union due to the Western Sahara. And I wondered, is it DPKO's position that countries don't have a right to have a, a sort of a principled political stand on why they wouldn't take peacekeepers or should they take anyone that DPKO sends? Well, first of all, uh, we wouldn't comment on the specifics of how we're uh, trying to bring more peacekeepers in. We, as you know, are in touch with a number of uh, member states trying to build up uh, the forces uh, as was approved by the Security Council. And uh, when we have details of which countries are coming in, we'll, we'll provide those details at that point. But I don't have any specific names to give up, up until more arrivals come in. I ask that just only because Mr. Ladsus at the stakeout made a big point of saying it's not when the house is on fire, anyone must be taken. So I just wanted to know, can you say is that that's the UN's position that even if there's a pr political principled stated reason not to take them, that wouldn't that should be overridden for us. The priority is to get as many peacekeepers in as we can. They've been authorized by the Security Council. We're trying to get the right numbers in uh, in order to uh, stop the bloodshed as soon as we possibly can. So that's our priority, but if we have any specific announcements to make about different countries joining in, we'll, we'll make it at that point. But that's not ready at this, at this stage. And on India?